So what were some of the more surprising changes about the OWASP top 10 from t- or late 20, 2021, whether it's its vulnerabilities that climbed in the rankings, the ones that left the list, the ones that were just introduced. Is there also, is there a, a lot of weight to the numerical ranking of the vulnerabilities? Cause I know things go up and down. Um, mm-hmm. And what does the reordered list say about the ways that vulnerability, vul- vulnerability issues have changed and evolved or devolved over the last couple of years? Yeah, no, great questions. So the, the the methodology or the approach for this list was a little bit different than the 2017 or even, even years before that. Um, and that goes back to what I said, you know, this, this group has to get together and figure out like, hey, how do we even approach this data, right? This yeah. data that has come in from all these organizations, which by the way, there's organizations all over the world that just dump, they're willing to just dump their data into OWASP and say, hey, if this can be helpful, then please use yeah. it. Yeah. Um, which is awesome. So we appreciate those companies too that are willing to share. For sure. Um, and so anyway, what kind of in a general sense, what OWASP has done in previous iterations of the top 10 is they would go out to organizations and say, hey, we want your data, but kind of keep it in the bounds of, you know, this certain these certain areas, you know, like that's the most interesting thing to us yeah. as OWASP, right? So right. they sort of guided everybody. Um, well, this this most current one, the 2021 list, they sort of just, they took off the, the you know, the guardrails. They okay. said, hey, just give us anything you got, just dump yeah. it on us, right? Um, which frankly turned into the largest data set that they've ever had in the history of the OWASP top 10, which is awesome. Uh-huh. So they had a lot to deal with. There's a lot to use. Um, and so, but also based on that, based on the kind of opening the aperture there, if you will, mm-hmm. and then the methodology that they used, they really were trying to go after what I'll call the, the root cause of an issue rather than like a symptom. So like, okay. for example, uh, the 2017 list had uh, one of the uh, one of the risks that was on the 2017 list was XML external entities XXE is how they is how they abbreviate that mm-hmm. um, and so but then on the um, that was on the 2017 list that was one of the top ten yep. but on the yep. 2021 list that XXE has been has been like integrated into or you know made part of the number five risk which is security misconfiguration and okay. so. That's so just to give you an idea, they're like, hey, really, the root problem of like an XXE vulnerability is that your security is misconfigured. You know, there's there's misconfiguration problems in your web application. And so then that these these XXE kind of things pop out as a result of that. So we're going to kind of pull it down to the root. So I say that to say when you look at the 2021 list. It's a bit it's a bit more broad in, in nature in terms of each mm-hmm. item that's listed on there. That's not true. One hundred percent of them. Um, but they they've really gone after the root cause rather than the symptom. Um, and so you you mentioned like, hey, are there some that have like, you know, changed Has the list changed mm-hmm. um, a couple that I would point out is uh, there, there's a new one, uh, cryptographic failures. In fact, that's number two on the twenty twenty one list. And again, yeah. that's one of those root cause Um, So like, and in fact, just to give an example on that one too, the number two on 2021 is cryptographic failures. Uh, There was another one on the 2017 list called sensitive data exposure. Mm. And sensitive data exposure has been pulled into like, hey, the reason that our sensitive data is being exposed everywhere is because the underlying cryptography has Uh, problems, right? Yeah. So sensitive data exposure from the 2017 list has been has been kind of combined into or, or, you know, loaded into, if you will, the cryptographic failures item on 2021. Mm -hmm. Um, And so but there's a few that are still on the list. I'll point out injection. If you've been around a WASP top Mm -hmm. 10 at any, you know, for any length of time, you know, our good friend, the injection attack, right? Oh, yeah. Um, and so that's been on the list forever. It has actually, it's been number one for a while, frankly, but it's now number three on the hmm. 2021 list, which is interesting. Um, yeah. And so, uh, so anyway, uh, the number one item is broken access control. And so there's, mm. you know, I, this is my kind of a, my thought around that broken access control. You know, in today's world, you've got applications that are available, you know, to all kinds of different people all over the place. You've got people working from home. You got people working in the coffee shop. You mm-hmm. got people working at 35,000 feet in an airplane while they're flying. Yes. Right. Yeah. And yeah. so it's yeah. like, how, 
you know, the underlying problem there is how do I keep, you know, access control around my application? Um, and so who gets to get in and who doesn't get in? And, you know, back in the day, it was like, hey, we all sat in our little office at work. And, you know, there was a there was this, you know, internal like trusted network and anyone coming out of that network, we trust them, right? Because they're sitting in the office. Well, now that doesn't exist anymore. Everybody's everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's, it's created a lot of, a lot of issues from a security standpoint, um, so anyway, so that's kind of that's bumped broken access control all the way to the top. So that's the that's the number one on the twenty the twenty so three list. So there, yeah. it is it is a weighted ranking though. So what number one? Yes, means, I'm sorry. Big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's that's a great point. And I, just mm -hmm. a quick word on that. Yeah, number mm -hmm. one as it as, in, t in terms of the data that was shared and all that stuff. Number one is more critical. Like it is a bigger deal than number ten, right? And right. so they are weight they are weight ranked. It's not like hey, here's just 10, 10 of them in no particular order. They yeah. are in a criticality ranked order. Got it. Um, and uh, and frankly, not to, not to shamelessly plug my course, but if you watch the course, then you'll Please. learn you'll learn a lot more about the methodology yeah. that they use and the the mentality and the and the approach on how they figure out hey which one's number one and which one's number two right so we go into yeah. all that um, but anyway but then also I was going to point out quickly is the the OWASP organization because of all the input from all these organ, all these other companies around the world they have a, of course the top ten list that, that they've put together. But I always like to say this, the OWASP top 10 list is not necessarily your organization's top 10 list, right? Yes. So you may, you may have, you know, like, for example, cryptographic failure, that's number two on the list. That may be your number one, you know, or mm -hmm. injection may still be your number one, right? Yeah. Um, and so don't necessarily take the OWASP top 10 and say, okay, well, then that is that that directly maps to our okay. organization. Yeah. It's, it's more of an, uh, it's, it's an awareness document. That gives you an idea of the state of application yeah. security today. It's the state of the world. Okay, yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. That's mm -hmm. right. But uh, but but you're right though to you know to point out again, it is a weighted list. You know, so number one is more critical. It's more severe than number ten or number two. You know, whatever. Worldwide. So it's right yeah, here. yeah. Mm -hmm. How about some free cybersecurity training resources for you and your team? Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to get ebooks, training guides, and more than 100 cybersecurity training courses all free for cyber work listeners. Go to infosecinstitute.com slash free and start learning crucial new skills today.